there's something that grinds my gears. Okay. I want to try to keep this as civil as possible, but it grinds my gears because there are those who just can't keep Brother Malcolm X out their damn mouth. They was quiet after that Netflix crap, that net next <laughs> Netflix documentary and the reason why they was quiet because they had to study what was said in the documentary so they can focus on their next lies the thing about a lie or liars you cannot keep up with what you do or what you said you're a liar why can't these nation of Islam dipsticks keep Malcolm X out their mouth? Then you want to get upset. Oh, we're being bullied. Somebody is trying to uh, push a lie. Ain't nobody pushing no lies or no falsehood. The nation of Islam killed that man. Get over it. The people are not going to accept because a lot of us, we can think for ourselves. Your lies don't fly. So I would like the this Wesley Muhammad person. He he does the research. He's the scholar, regurgitating the lies. He's using his talent to support the deception of Louis Farrakhan and these other factions of nation of Islam that trying to say or claim that the 1965 nation of Islam members did not murder it was the government so I just want to present I'm not I'm gonna to try to stay civil I'm trying to stay composed because it, it's sickening to me I don't like liars I don't like deceivers I want to present some of these points. I, I, I want Dr. Dr. Wesley Muhammad. I want him to respond. He's not going to respond. I want you to respond to these points. I got to look at my phone. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. First of all, me, myself, I did not know who Malcolm X was. Even though my relatives was in the nation of Islam. They never told me. I never heard about Malcolm X until the 1980s. And I was introduced to nation of Islam teachings way back uh, late 60s, early 70s. I never heard of this Malcolm X. The first time I heard about Malcolm X, Farrakhan brought this man's name up. I'm like, who, who, who is Malcolm X? And when I heard about Malcolm X for the first time, it was from Louis Farrakhan, and he was calling him a hypocrite and a traitor and all kinds of nasty, slanderous, uh, trying to defame the man. Now, me, I think for myself. And I began to study Malcolm X and what happened. I did not come to the same conclusion. My conclusion was the nation of Islam did not treat this man fairly. My conclusion is, I don't care what they said, my conclusion is, and my logic and common sense tells me that these people, these religious fanatics, all of them, not just the ones who actually killed the brother. All of them, these religious fanatics, murdered Malcolm X, and they still exist today. They still have the same mindset. They make threats against people, talking about assaulting people, and the same mindset. Nothing has changed. 
but they want to put on this front like they holy and righteous and peaceful. Yeah, that's a damn lie. Malcolm X was correct. A criminal organization. All because Elijah Muhammad it started because Elijah Muhammad is an adulterer. And no matter how you try to slice the pie, Elijah Muhammad was an adulterer. Adulterer. Malcolm X did not do anything wrong. He cannot help the fact that his teacher and his organization that he put so much time into was corrupt. That's what happened. And they have all this different information and blah, blah. Eh, you know, slicksters. Let me see if you can slick out of this, out of these points here, Mr. Dr. Wesley Muhammad. So, I didn't even know anything about Minister Farrakhan. But I was, I was living and I experienced this myself, so I don't have to read this in no book. I don't have to listen to a tape. Minister Farrakhan spent at least 10 years, close to 10 years, trying to smear and defame Malcolm X. It backfired on him. It didn't work. And Spike Lee made a movie and made Malcolm X even more popular. That's what happened. And so since Minister Farrakhan could not slander Malcolm X he did a 360 oh I love the brother he was my teacher uh, yeah right okay 18 years sir you slandered that man that's what you did I saw it with my own eyes I lived it but that's what you done crocodile tear you're a liar if I was a silly negro I would have believed your story also now, here's my points. From 1965 to 1975, when did the Nation of Islam claim the government killed Malcolm X? From 1965 to 1975, when Elijah Muhammad was here, in the newspaper, where did they claim that the government agents kill Malcolm X. Also, in 1965, the Nation of Islam offered to pay the legal fees of those who were accused. If it was government agents, why would you, if you thought that it was government agents, why would you step up to the plate and talk about, I, I, we willing to, we're going to pay and make sure they get the best defense. The New York Mosque was burned down because because the people thought government agents did it? No. Common sense tell you it was these Muslims that done it. Malcolm X did not have any problems until they start making threats against him. And when they finally killed Malcolm X, did President, uh, what's his name? Did President Johnson, did the government celebrate? Who was celebrating Malcolm X's death? The Muslims were celebrating the death of Malcolm X. The government didn't say nothing. President Johnson didn't come on camera and say, well, you know, Malcolm X was a troublemaker and he, he got what he deserved. That's what Elijah Muhammad said. Oh, man, I don't have to say So keep that in mind. Now, myself, from 1981 to 1989, myself, I was in the Nation of Islam. I, I, was, in, I was in the Nation of Islam from 1981 to 1989. I never heard Minister Farrakhan say that it was government killed Malcolm X. Then we, then we reach, then we reach 1993, and he said, Farrakhan said, that it was religious zealots from Temple Number 25, New York, that murdered Malcolm X. 
He did not say, I believe he probably said, it's a possibility it could have been government agents. There's no, there's no evidence to suggest that those men that pulled the trigger was government employees. Now, even me, myself, in modern times, have been threatened. Myself, in modern times, I've been threatened two times. In the mosque itself. I don't know why this thing is freezing like that. But I have been threatened myself two times. Uh, what? I, I guess those are government agents also. And all those YouTube trolls that's threatening people's lives and stuff on on YouTube. All this is all these are government agents. Then Wesley Muhammad. They talk about the daughter of, of Malcolm X. She don't know. She was a little baby. What do the daughter of Malcolm X know about her father's murder? She, she really don't know. She's going by here says she don't know. She was a little baby. She don't know no more than I do or anybody else do. Then, then the daughter of this uh, black police officer, she debunked. She said that the, the letter that he's supposed to have wrote confessing to being participating in the murder that was a hoax they still using that though Elijah Muhammad was an adulterer there's no evidence that he was married legally nowhere to his side chicks these was not wise if you are not Legally binding either by the United States, Mexico, or somewhere, these women was not wives. They were side chicks. He exploited these women the same way most reverends and preachers do. In the name of God, of course. What other point did I want to make here? Let's thank you. Oh, of course, of course they had nothing to do with my, uh, Malcolm's death, but they printed a, a cartoon showing Malcolm X head being cut off. They, what else did they, they do? Uh, Farrakhan called for the murder of, of Malcolm X every chance he got on radio. Farrakhan said that he had a picture of Malcolm X a uh, dead body in his pocket. Who who does that? But of course they wouldn't they wouldn't hurt nobody. They they are peace loving. And then there's another, I think it was the Hanafi murders or something like that in 1972. Somebody supposed to been talking about Malcolm X. Uh, somebody that uh Kareem Abdul Jabbar, I believe he bought them a house or home or whatever. And they went in and killed those people. Don't talk about that a lot, but of course they don't they don't hurt nobody. Everything that I ever heard for years and years and years out of uh Farrakhan, oh they of course they Malcolm said himself it was several attempts on his life by them. After the firebombing, he said they done it. You can't believe these slicksters. I might have to do another video and, and, and respond and get get this get this video together much better. Cause I, I this grind my gear. I can't let, continue to let them slide. Let the man rest. Malcolm deserve defense. You're only attacking him because he's gone. 